Are the Hawks' wings truly crippled, or are we seeing a double turnaround here? Hola, everyone, and welcome to the House of Epo. Chapter 1338 has flown in through my window, which means that it is time to talk about it. For those of you that do not remember what happened in 1336 and 1337, the crew is finally saying that there is the potential for Takamura to be injured. Originally, it started off with Miyata and Ipo both noticing something a little bit different about how Takamura was moving. And then last chapter, the rest of the group really started to pay attention and saw something that seemed and felt off. But what we did not get to really touch on is the fact that Yagi and Shinoda think that Everything's A-OK, -okay, um, but the coach asked Ipo, and this is where we are starting. 1338 is titled, The Nature of Discomfort. Keith and Takamura are in the middle of round number two, and things seem to be going absolutely nutso. Keith follows up with a left uppercut and a straight right, but Takamura brushes it away, and Takamura takes that opportunity to dash in. However, something goes a miss. There is something wrong and we don't get to quite understand what it is. Not wanting to get close, Keith hits a series of lefts of jabs, i.e. the man who controls the left controls the world. Takamura ducks underneath it and lands a straight left. But Keith manages to dodge, however Takamura is persistent with his pursuit. That is quite the alliteration right there. But Shinoda, Yagi, and Ippo and Kamigawa are all having a discussion right at ringside where they're saying, oh, yeah, the foot injury that he got from the car accident that he kind of dodged. Again, I can't believe that we're finally bringing this up again. How is this not important? But Yagi says, if he keeps moving like this, we'll definitely see the effects, i.e., if he keeps pushing and pushing and pushing through this pain, you know, we could potentially see something go very, very, very wrong. And honestly, this is where I mean we kind of have that double turnaround coming in right about now. Kamigawa says, no, he's in good shape and he feels stronger than usual. But, you know, it's, it's almost too strong. He's pushing in and he's pushing in. While Takamura is looking to break Keith's guard, he's coming in, wailing on it left, right, left, right, pop, 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 pop. Okay, that was a little exaggerated. I nearly punched myself in the face. But... Kamigawa responds with uh, this exact sentence that starts with with. With his physical strength reduced by weight loss, two minutes was the limit for moving at maximum speed, i.e. for the duration of a round until he got his energy back. He could only push for the full two minutes. However, uh, now without that weight loss limit, without that dramatic cut in his size, he is applying pressure while maintaining both his speed and destructive power, i.e. Takamura's coming in popping one or two and getting ready to go. Takamura's potential is blossoming. He is free from the weight loss and he is moving. And Shinoda, Yagi, and Ipo all kind of think to themselves, you know what? You're right. That's okay. He's, he's going to be fine. Nothing's going to go wrong with Takamura. He's okay. That's what's so strange about this. But I do believe that that's kind of where we're mistaken. You know, there's an uneasy feeling with Ippo, with Miyata, with Kamigawa. They're all sitting there and saying, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you know, something else is feeling off, though. You know, he might be stronger than normal, but he's still not quite getting the capacity that he actually needs to succeed when it comes to this freaking fight. So what we're technically looking at right now, right here, right now, so we're carrying it on, I guess, into the future is the fact that um, there's two different camps right now going on in the thought process of these characters. First camp is, oh, he's actually feeling much better than usual. Like, he is in peak condition, and that is what is so unusual. You know, he's not having to cut down his weight. He's not having to do anything different. He's just coming in, rocking the boat, and he's absolutely dominating the match. And then the other camp is basically going, uh, you know, you might want to take a look at him. He is potentially injured now i'm leaning more towards the camp that he is injured because the one thing that we have gotten to see takamura do time in and time out is absolutely dominate during his practice matches i.e during his training sessions and not all of those are when he is you know trying to cut weight he's actually trying to maintain weight at some points in time maybe putting on a little bit of muscular size that way when he cuts down he can use a little bit more water weight not quite as much fat there's some more science to that but we'll go into that later what i'm talking about is you know they'd be able to see this full power that he's able to present 
you know, potentially in the ring. Or there's another side of this. Again, but boom, this is like a pyramid. There's five sides. I think. I mean, technically, yeah, there, there are technically five sides to a pyramid. You got one, two, three, four sides, plus the bottom. I count as a side. That's a, a rant. But we are back in this train without talking about that. What I'm talking about is the fact that um, I think Takamura being at his weight potential uh, and not getting to battle against people who are genuinely as good as him. Every single time that he has gone up against somebody has been from a much lower weight class, so Takamura has not been in his full peak condition. What we're getting to see here is Takamura in his peak condition basically go up against somebody and potentially dominate them. Now, do I think that he's injured? Yes. Do I think that's going to play a role? Yes. Do I think that he's going to have an Achilles tendon injury that he's going to have to recover from after this fight? Most probably, which was brought on by trying to save a child. How dare he try to save a life? This is not the Frey song. This is a boxing manga. Um... But overall, I really enjoy this chapter. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Is Takamura injured, or is he finally releasing his full potential and his limiters? He basically took the weights off. We're seeing what happens when Rock Lee gets super serious. Only Takamura technically has more talent uh, than Rock Lee did. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for my Hajime no Ippo related content. And for everyone new and old, welcome and welcome back. It's your boy Lohali, and I will see you next video.